In this video, I'm going to show you how to build these animated backgrounds. Now, this is how the node tree looks like. It's not that complicated. Yeah, let's just get started. We're gonna go to the edit page and we're gonna create a new feature and composition right here. You can name these whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it like that. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a background and we're gonna connect these to our media out and we're gonna make these transparent. I'm gonna right click here on high quality and take these off while we're working. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a background and we're going to create an ellipse right here to these and we're going to connect these to our background so we can see these on screen. You can play around and change the color to whatever color you want or make it a gradient. It's all up to you and your creativity as I always say. And after these we can actually just adjust the circle a little bit so it's a little bit smaller right here. Then we're going to press control and spacebar and we're going to add a transform node. On this transform node, we're going to set up the size to 0 0.0125 and then we're going to change the canvas to wrap. That will make all the points up here. Now, if it is a little bit too small for you, you can make these a little bit bigger. It's all up to you. After that, we're going to animate these transform node so that our points are moving a little bit. For that, we're going to go all the way to the last frame here and we're going to set these up to 0 0.55. So just add one or five right there. That's going to give us the illusion of the whole thing moving and it's going to sort of act like a perfect loop too. After that, we're going to create an image plane and that's going to be connected there. So we can actually just get rid of this merge node and we're going to need to add a renderer and we're going to connect these to our merge node so we can see these on the final screen. Now, the next thing is actually we're going to go and select this image plane and we're going to press control and space bar and we're going to add a bender. And we're going to leave that there for a little bit. We're going to press two here on our renderer, or you can leave it at the MIDI out, but we're not going to work on the 3D viewer. Once we have our dots right here, we're going to go to the 3D plane and we're going to select the transform. And here we can actually adjust these and we can adjust the different values here to bring these closer to the screen. And if you want to rotate a little bit like that, it's really up to you to move it a little bit to the side. And what I want to do is actually I want to bring these uh, closer to the, the half side or half point. If you want to know exactly where that is, press Ctrl G so you can see the guides. And then we're going to go and unlock the scale and we're going to increase the height a little bit of this. After that, we're going to go to our bender here and we're going to change the axis to Z or Z and we're going to play around with the curvature of these. Now again, you can see here it's getting cut off again so we can actually fix that in a little bit and we're gonna go to this 3d plane and we're gonna bring these closer to our screen then we can go back to the bender and adjust it as much as we want if you still see it up there you can actually increase the height a little bit more if you want to cover that area after that we're gonna press ctrl and spacebar again and we're gonna add a waviness node this is going to add that waviness or curve effect that I had. And first of all, we're going to take out the animation. If you want, you can leave that on. In this case, we're going to decrease the scale. So it's only one or two a little bit. And you can adjust the strength to make it more noticeable or more subtle. Now, the face, what it does is it moves it around so you can move it and see where the curvature is going to be more pronunciated. Now, another thing you will notice is that here we have these being repeated. And to fix that, we're going to select our merge node here and we're going to bring that to the side so that part is covered. After that, the last part is to press Ctrl Spacebar again and we're going to add a glow effect. Now, this part is up to you. You can decrease the glow or increase it and the size of it too. It's really up to what you like. And then we have our first section. Now we can select all of these and simply copy and paste these. And we're going to take these to another merge node and now we can go ahead and change our image plane or rotate these completely it's really up to you in this case i'm just gonna move these to that side i'm gonna bring these a little bit higher and i don't want these to be shown like that so we're gonna have to play around and figure out a way to avoid that after you position your second one, we want all the points to be going towards the same direction. So we're going to have to go here in this second one transform and we're basically going to invert these. The easiest way to invert this is go to the splines, select everything by pressing Ctrl A. If you want to see it on screen, press this and then we're going to press the reverse button. So now they're both going to be going towards 
the background you can if you want to make these a little bit more unique too you can adjust the bender so it's a little bit different than the other one now for the next part we're gonna press ctrl space bar again and we're gonna add a blur you can choose whichever blur you like in this case it's just gonna be a normal blur and we're actually gonna increase this right now so it's gonna look a little bit weird then we're gonna select a polygon right here and we're gonna draw a shape sort of like similar to what we have here with our waves and this is really up to you of how accurate you wanted to make it that's gonna make the blur happen only inside this and we want it to transition to our shape a little bit better so we're gonna add a soft edge like that after that what you can do is we can go back to this background color that we had here and we can make these the color that we want ideally you want something that is going to make a good contrast with the dots and you got to make sure that the background is set up all the way back to one again now we have these and you can add more things and be creative with these it's really about playing around and see what you like but we're going to go to the edit page and we're going to bring this here and then you can just right click and render this in place set up mp4 or whichever you want after you have this render you can add or create a new title animation or simply go to the title section and use some of the titles that you already have there in this case we can actually just press mb since it's my collection of titles and then you can just add whichever title that you want in this case or you can just use this as a background for images or videos or anything that you're adding to support the video. I will make this one available on the Florida page. So check the link below if you wanna download these and play around with it and adapt it to your own style. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like. If you didn't like the video, let me know down in the comments because the dislike button doesn't really work anymore. That is it for this video. I hope to see you in the next video here in Suave. Bye.